Hello fellow fans of Operation Harsh Doorstop. My name is Sergeant Samples and today I want to go over very briefly a mod that I just uploaded to the Steam Workshop for y'all to try out if you'd like. Uh, it's called Machinima Cam and I will leave a link down in the description. If we go to the single player menu the game mode that's associated with Machinima Cam is actually called Free Cam in the menus. Um, it is mostly meant for a single player for the purpose of content creators to show off stuff that they've been working on but it still includes a slow motion mod so it can be usable just if you want to be immersed or if you want to go slaughter a bunch of bots like Max Payne. Um, so if we hit free cam and we're gonna go to the moon base and play with some of the Star Wars factions that just got put out let's go with the 501st versus the Separatists All right, and when we load into the map here, you can see that we've got some instructions there on the left-hand side. Uh, pressing I will toggle your invincibility. And when you are invincible, that purple shield you see in the left-hand corner, uh, it becomes visible. That's your indicator that you are in invincibility mode. We can also press Y to toggle off the entire HUD, including the objective markers. Uh, we can press T to toggle slow motion by 50%. and all of those controls are also available in third person if you press the default key N for November then that will swap you over to third person where we also have full control of our invincibility our HUD and the ability to control slow motion in third person if you press mouse 3 or 4 it's one of the thumb buttons on your mouse that will allow you to swap shoulders um, I'm we don't have to keep that key bind. If I get enough feedback that asks me to change it, we can probably try to find something better. I'm going to leave that up to you guys. The HUD icons that you see there, it is possible for those to reappear even if you have the HUD toggled off. That happens because as the AI moves out and captures objectives, they're the icons update so you'll need to turn them off again simply by re-enabling the HUD and turning it back off and that will make those icons disappear again uh, and finally if we press the middle mouse button it spawns a drone behind your character uh, the usual controls apply here we have WASD for movement E will raise you up Q drops you back down we can control our speed by scrolling on the scroll wheel and we can also toggle slow motion turn the HUD off or press middle mouse button to go back to our soldier if you notice in the left hand corner again we are in invincibility mode and that's because when you spawn that drone uh, it, it places your soldier automatically in invincibility mode so that he can't be killed therefore preventing the the problem of not being able to repossess your character when you possess the drone instead. So that solved that problem. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. But it's a it's a it's a fun, powerful sort of little tool. I find it useful. I hope you guys will find it useful. And again, I'm open to feedback. Hit me up on the Discord or reach out on Steam if you have any questions or have any ideas for changes. And I hope you all have a great day.